Namaste everyone! So today we are going to talk about Dvitiya Titi, second lunar day, which is ruled by goddess Bhagamalini. Bhaga literally means luck and Malini means garlanded. So Bhagamalini means the one who is garlanded with luck. So you can imagine just from that that this is obviously a goddess which is very auspicious and she's all about growth, you know, growing things. Why? Because this lunar day is governed by the moon and moon is growing everything, you know, this wonderful nature around that you can see here, this is grown by the moon, by Soma, and such is also the quality of goddess Bhagamalini. So, goddess Kameshwari and the Pratipatiti, which is ruled by the sun, is this creative spark which brings something new into life, while goddess Bhagamalini is actually making it grow. So similarly, you know, Pratipatiti, the sun, it is all about the self, you know, my own self, attention brought to myself, while Goddess Bhagamalini and Dvitiya Titi, because the number is two here, is about you and me. It's about me and nature. It's about you and nature and any relation which we have with our environment. Because the moon ultimately is also the graha or the planet of our environment. It's the planet of our relations as well and our receptivity. Similarly, like Pratipatiti was ruled by fire element, so it was all about this creative spark and creativity, so Dvitiya Titi is ruled or governed by earth element. So it's about taking this idea, this creative idea which appeared under Pratipat and actually grounding it, giving it a form, making it manifest in the world. And also due to that, people born on Dvitiya Titi usually are well grounded and they like to realize things or bring things into life, into the real world. Because Dvitiya Titi is governed by earth element, it is also all about stability. So earth element in Vedic philosophy is connected with artha, with accumulation of something, also with accumulation of wealth. Which is why people born on second lunar day, they really value stability in their relationships and their finances, which is also logical. Again, that's the Titi ruled by the moon. Moon is all about fluctuations, waxing and waning. And they often experience these sort of fluctuations in life, which is why stability is enormously important value for them and they value it a lot. People born on Dvitiya Titi are usually also quite confident. Why? Because again, you know, on Pratipatiti, it's like the goddess, or the, in the form of the moon, she's taking her first step, either her first step towards her own fullness, or her first step towards the union with her beloved Shiva, and coming back and uniting with the sun on the new moon day. So, you can imagine, you know, that Pratipatiti is all about taking this first step, and having this desire, you know, of taking this first step, desire to experience something new, well, the second step, you know, you're already a little bit more confident about what you really want in life. And also the quality or color of the moon associated with second lunar day is manada, which give, means either confidence, but can also mean pride. So pride can be also a shadow quality here, so you may often see that people born on Vitiya Titi, they actually may have a little bit too much pride and ego. So because this lunar day is also ruled or governed by the moon, it's all about growth and all about growing things. Actually, the name of the goddess, Bhagamalini, Bhaga sometimes means a womb. Even if you look at the yantra of this goddess, sometimes it's actually say that it represents this inverted triangle the womb of the goddess, the creative womb of the goddess, which actually brings things into life. So also people born on Vitya Titi, they like to grow things, you know, they like to give this nourishing energy to actually grow something into the world. So second lunar day also has as its divine quality, dhairya or patience. And this is actually very important quality, which is also visible through two lotus flowers, which goddess Bhagamalini holds in her hands. She's holding pink lotus flower and blue lotus flower. The pink lotus flower is the flower which actually blossoms during the day, while blue lotus flower blossoms during the night. 
And similarly, Goddess Gamalini reminds us that we always need patience. If we want to shine our ideas into the world, which she definitely gives us a blessing for, and if we want to simply, you know, just show ourselves to the world and any of our creative ideas, we need patience for that. Because everybody has his time to shine. In nature, moon has its time to shine and sun has its time to shine. Pink lotus flower has its time to blossom and blue lotus flower has its time to blossom. And you can never make this process faster, which is why patience is so important. Because without patience, you know, if you, for example, take a lotus flower or any flower which is closed and before its time to blossom comes, you try to forcibly open it by hands, you will actually destroy the flower. So patience is very important quality and I can't really stress it enough as we are right now recording Dviti Atiti video and we have so many mosquitoes all around that it literally ends up being, you know, like two minutes of scaring mosquitoes to for half minute of doing actual video. So definitely I can confirm just from the experience right now, patience is very important. Goddess Bagamalini also gives us this enormous blessing to spread our ideas into the world, to share them with the world. So like Goddess Kameshwari, she gives us this creative spark, Goddess Bagamalini takes it and allows our inner light to actually shine into the world. Which is why Dvitiya Titi is actually a very good day for sharing your ideas with the world, with your friends, even doing marketing for your company. So for Dvitina natives, it's also very important, you know, they really need to feel abundant, you know. And not only in terms always of, let's say, physical wealth, but this is actually one of the titis which really likes to feel, you know, this sort of financial stability. And it doesn't need to be bad, you know. And what is very important also for Dvitiya titi natives is that they simply, you know, feel, how to say, the ground beneath their feet, you know, because that's the earth element here. But also Dvitiya Titi can make a person actually abundant and can bring also wealth into the person's life. Because remember, number second in Vedic astrology is connected to the second house, which is the house of assets and wealth. Assets are actually very important for all Dvitiya natives. They actually feel safe if they have actual savings. So they like to have savings and they like to have, you know, some sort of uh, predictability about their income. So even if they're like freelancers or if they are having their own business, they are very often trying to actually make their own income predictable because they really value, you know, again, this groundedness of the earth. Dvitiya Titi natives, they also like to have some sort of influence or impact on the environment or the world around them. It's actually very important for them. Sometimes they can be very creative, very artistic, but they're not the sort of people who would actually, you know, like sit and make a painting or sit alone and do the music just for the pleasure of doing that. They actually like to be seen. They actually like to share something with the world because they simply enjoy being in contact with others. They long to, love to enjoy being in contact with other people, with their friends, with their crowd. Because again, this is the titi ruled by the moon, so they actually like the company of people. They are looking for the company of other people and to be seen by other people as well. Dvitiya titi natives can be sometimes also very emotional. Uh, in their approach, they can be very emotional in their talking, in their actions. Again, that's the titi ruled by the moon. So there's lots of, you know, emotions that like to be expressed for them. And they really put their emotion into everything they do, which is why they can be so creative sometimes. When it comes to sensitivity of Dvitiya natives, it can be tricky, you know. On one hand, Moon, yes, it's a very sensitive planet, but it's also Earth element here. So sometimes they can be very sensitive, even actually overly sensitive to the extent of kind of feeling or getting too many, you know, influences from the outside upon them. So they might be a little bit confused about their own path sometimes or listen to other people too much. This definitely can happen. But sometimes, you know, in other cases, they might actually be 
not sensitive at all because again it's the earth element so it's quite interesting combination because the moon is very much about you know all these different influences while earth element is actually the most emotionally shallow element actually the three titis governed by earth element which is dvitiya second lunar day saptami seventh lunar day and dwadashi which is 12th lunar day they are the three titis which can be if they are afflicted, if they are unhealthy, if the titi lord is ill disposed or if titi rashi is somehow, you know, lacks this emotional nourishment they can be the people who are the most emotionally shallow sometimes but please don't take it as a rule because it really depends on the placement of the titi lord and the titi rashi so, but this is just one thing that I wanted to share with you because sometimes you can in fact even see people like serial killers, you know, with placement like that because simply, you know, even if you try to imagine if the earth element would try to go deeper, you know, into itself it's really hard, right? It's easier for the water, when you have water you can very easily dive deeply but when it comes to the earth, when you want to dive deeper, dive into the emotion, into the core of it you actually need to put lots of effort into that so earth is very much connected with being on the surface as well and sometimes, you know, these people can be very much on the surface too And let's not forget that Dvitiya natives can be actually very, very, very creative, you know. They can be very romantic too, because again, because of the rulership of the moon here, and because of the goddess Bagamalini, right? She is the goddess of the actual womb, or bringing something new into the world, nourishing some new creative idea. So definitely Dvitiya natives very often are very creative people. So this was just my short analysis about Dvitiya Titi or second lunar day and if you want to learn more about the Vitiya Titi or any Titi in general you can pull trace my ebook Journey with the Moon you can also join me on my Patreon community the subscription is only $27 a month or you can also join me on the course on the Titis it was going to be like four weeks long intense course just on the lunar phases with cosmic insights so you have all the links below thank you so much for your attention Namaste